If you have a good handle on alphanumeric note input, and if you can get around on a MIDI keyboard fairly well, then step time note input should be a breeze, and it may end up being your favorite way to input notes into Sibelius. The process of inputting notes in step time is exactly the same as the process for alphanumeric input, except instead of typing the letters A through G to input notes, you'll play the pitches on your MIDI keyboard. The advantages of using step time over alphanumeric note input are that you'll be able to input notes in the correct octave, and you'll be able to use one touch on the MIDI keyboard to input intervals or chords without having to make those adjustments or additions later. To input notes in step time, assuming your MIDI keyboard is connected to your computer and set up properly so that it's working in Sibelius, go ahead and escape so that nothing is selected in the score. Select the bar rest in the bar where you'd like to begin inputting notes. Move your mouse off screen, you won't need it. And using your computer's numeric keypad, go ahead and choose a duration. I'm going to type the number four again for a quarter note. And then play a pitch on your MIDI keyboard. Continue to input notes by selecting the duration in the keypad, followed by the pitch or pitches if you'd like to input chords like this with your MIDI keyboard. Be careful not to move too quickly as you're stepping through these notes. If you move a little too quickly, you may input an interval or a chord instead of a single note. Remember, you can step in and change the duration in your keypad. I'll change this to an eighth note and then play the notes on the MIDI keyboard. Just like an alphanumeric input, if you need to input a rest during step time, just use the rest key on your numeric keypad. So if I want to input an eighth note rest after this eighth note, I'm just going to type the zero key on my keypad to input that rest. I could even do that again if I wanted to and then play a note on your keyboard. Escape to exit note input mode when your note input is complete. So step time note input can potentially be the fastest and most efficient process of note input in Sibelius, as long as you have the MIDI keyboard chops to play the notes on the keyboard without struggling to find them. If you have trouble with the MIDI keyboard, you should consider focusing on alphanumeric input as the best note input method for you. And this brings us to a discussion about the best process of working in Sibelius. The best thing that you can do to input notes into Sibelius is to work linearly from left to right within each staff, staying in note input as long as you possibly can. At the very least, your note input should contain all of the rhythms, pitches, accidentals, ties, and any articulations that you can reasonably handle. Depending on the complexity of the notation, you may want to hold off on inputting articulations so that you can go back later and edit them in. You may end up working more quickly that way. Eventually, you'll begin exploring the additional keypad layouts to potentially add additional symbols during note input as well. For now, I suggest making a choice between alphanumeric or step time note input and spending a lot of time getting up to speed with one of those two very efficient methods.